to make a super easy and fun abstract project with paints and plastic bags. For this project, you're going to need pieces of cardstock or cardboard, or if you have a canvas, that's even better. Acrylic paints, scissors, plastic bag or plastic wrap or freezer bag. Just remember, thickness will affect results. A cup with water, and if you have a dropper, that's great. But if you don't, don't worry about it. Brushes, something to put your paint on like a paper plate, and a paper towel or rag. This project can get a little messy, so make sure that you protect the surface you're working on by laying some newspapers or plastic covers. We're going to start by painting the cardstock pages with solid colors. Make sure that you're covering them pretty well with paint, but try not to make the paint too watery, but also try not to put in too much paint. Then let the paper dry completely. This part is super important because if you do the next step and the base is still wet, you might risk pulling and ripping the paper when you remove the plastic bags. Trust me. You can also paint a gradient with two or three colors, like this. After you're done with this step, go ahead and discard the paint water in your cup and get clean water. That way, when we're painting with the plastic bags, we're making sure that the colors stay nice and bright. Okay, while we're letting the paper dry, we're going to cut the plastic bags. First, we cut the handles, then the bottom, and then we're gonna cut it in half, and then in half again for each section. That way you end up with four pieces of plastic. Now you need to decide what color combinations you want to use for your abstract piece. I recommend no more than three colors to avoid over mixing and making your palette muddy and dull. The key to making this cool effect is to use a little bit of extra water on the paint to dilute it before applying to the paper. All right, this is your time to shine. You'll choose where to add the colors, so you wanna do this one at a time and then clean your brush in between each color. And then when you do this, don't think about it too much because you want to do this fast, okay? So the less you think about it, the cooler it's going to look. After you've layered all your colors, it's time to add the plastic bag. Lay it on top of your piece and then press lightly on the areas, moving it carefully to create creases and interesting patterns. Be careful not to overdo the step as fun as it is because you wouldn't want to over mix what's underneath. If that happens, don't worry, just let the paper dry completely and do another layer with the colors you want. Remember, you want your colors to pop, so if your background is dark, you might want to choose something light to go on top like white or pastel tones. And sometimes I like to splatter a little bit of extra water on the piece before I add the plastic bag. Now we're going to wait between 5 to 10 minutes for it to dry a little bit before removing the plastic bag. This part is very important because you don't want to let the paint dry completely. So we just want to wait enough time for the creases and the textures that you created to settle a little bit before removing the plastic bag. Be really careful when you're peeling the plastic off, just do it very slowly and carefully. If your paper warps a little bit, don't worry, you can fix this by letting it rest overnight under a big book, this way it will be flat next day. There's many things that you can do with your abstract piece. You can write something on it, something inspiring, like a quote. You can doodle on it with markers, ink, or more paint. You can just leave it as it is and frame it. Or you can cut it smaller and make cards. I hope you had fun with this project. If you're enjoying my videos and want to support my channel, you can do so by subscribing or becoming a patron and gain access to exclusive content like behind the scenes or live streams and free goodies every month. Thanks for your support and thanks for watching. See you next time.